today i am going to explain you about biomedical waste management so biomedical waste will be managed in the hospital usually this biomedical waste what we are calling as a biomedical waste it is a hazardous waste or else we can call it as a infectious waste okay so this hazardous waste or infectious waste how to manage in a hospital setting that today i am going to explain you in detail okay so before going to that detail of a biomedical waste i am going to tell you about what is biomedical waste so biomedical waste is a infectious waste or hazardous waste which is generated in a hospital or healthcare setting during diagnosis treatment and immunization so during this process we are going to extract the uh, hazardous waste okay waste we can see four category of waste okay so what are all the four category here you can see the color coding and we have kept a color coding bins also here and here it is been given by the government what kind of a waste in which color bin it has to go so there is a government rules so based on that only we have to segregate the waste and according to the bin only we have to discard the waste so this yellow color you can see the yellow color bin so in the yellow color bin what are all the waste we are discarding okay this yellow color bin meant for human tissue any human anatomical waste that can be discarded into the yellow color bin and whatever it is extracted in a laboratory like microbiology biotechnology that all kind of a waste also can be discarded into the yellow bin then any surgical waste like i can i'll show you later okay with the material i'll, I'll give a demo okay so all soiled waste will be discarded into the yellow bin finally even all cytotoxic drugs that also will be discarded into the yellow bin so this all kind of a category of a waste types of waste will go in for a incineration treatment okay so whatever we are collecting in a yellow color bin finally from the treatment area the agency will give a treatment for this yellow color bin is a incineration or deep burying okay so this will be done for a yellow color waste okay next we can see the red color here you can see the bin okay so in the red color all plastic items okay i'll show you the whatever items will come in a plastic waste i'll, I'll tell you later okay whatever infectious plastic waste that all should go into the red bin so that will be treated in our agency by studying of of a this thing plastic waste or before uh, after studying they used to make it autoclaving and microwaving finally they will melt the items and they will reuse it for a other purpose okay so this red color is a non incinerable waste it is a recyclable recycling waste okay then you can see the blue color bin okay which we have kept here so this bin it is meant for only glass and metal waste okay so whatever you feel it is a glass infectious waste that can be discarded into the blue color bin finally that also the treatment for blue bin is study or chemical autoclave and microwaving will be done from the agency side okay so white white the ppc can puncture proof container in that container all short waste like a needle scalpel blade ampules sharp instruments we have to discard into the ppc can finally for the treatment for the ppc is study autoclaving chemical and microwaving okay so this is the color coding of our biomedical waste and this category of our things like uh, materials has to be discarded into the respective bin and finally what treatment will be provided by, by the agency okay so this instruction is be given from the government so everywhere we can see wherever we are keeping a bins we used to display this guidelines okay so by seeing the guidelines staff can follow the orders now you came to know so what are all the waste based on a category how to segregate okay so here there are waste in a tray you can see that okay multiple waste are here so here i should think what kind of a waste and uh, it has to go into the respective bin okay so i should see if it is a incinerable waste it has to go into the yellow bin okay 
if it is a rice, uh, recycling waste it has to go into the red bin and short waste has to go into the ptc can and this glassware has to go into the blue bin okay so here there are some glass items so i should discard this waste into the blue bin okay we should not mix up this waste into other category of waste so here you can see the plastic waste okay it is a infectious plastic there are vacutaneous with and syringes gloves caps okay urine can uh, urine uh, collection container ivy bottles so this definitely when you are discarding to the bin before discarding make sure there should not be any fluid in the bottle okay so if the bottle if you discard into the bin again the we it so you can see the empty ivy bottle plastic bottle and here iv set okay so these are all the glucose bottles so these all this should go into the red bin okay so always when you are having a bin snow in your department make sure it should have a lid okay closed lid should be av available for all the biomedical waste bin because the contamination here should not spread in the area so always make sure it should be closed in all biomedical waste bins okay so all plastic materials should go into the infectious plastic material should go into the red bin okay so you you, you can see all these are all plastic waste syringes used syringes caps and gloves vacutaneous so all these should go into the red bin because this plastic waste will be uh, recycled okay so they used to do the autoclaving and uh, chemical treatment will be given for the all plastic waste finally they will recycle the waste okay here you can see the short waste so whenever you are collecting a short waste make sure it should go into the separate container okay along with other waste please don't mix okay if you do that definitely person will get a needle stick injury okay so always the short waste should be in a separate container you can keep one kidney tray or some container in that you should put a short waste finally this shops don't put direct hand to remove the shops okay if you put your hand definitely there is a chances of getting needle stick injury so please don't use your finger or hand to catch the shops okay you you should just collect in a kidney tray and finally this shop waste into, should go into okay all shop waste i have discarded into the punch of fruit container you can see here in a ppc can there is a solution okay so always when we are discarding and storing a short waste because this will not be removed on a daily basis so that's why they have from the company they have given a hypochlorite solution okay so that hypochlorite solution will disinfect the all short waste so always make sure that ppc can should have a one percent of hypochlorite solution okay Finally, you can see the soil waste or cotton material which is infectious cotton materials okay see this cotton material infectious soil waste will go into the yellow bin this will be done by incineration treatment for the waste okay so you can see the used mask this has to go into the yellow bin and used cap head cap again this has to go into the yellow bin and used diaper again it has to go into the yellow bin and cotton dressing materials this should go into the yellow bin okay so finally this waste will go for a incineration treatment okay i'll tell you again in an in detail so ppc can it is meant for only short waste in a short waste needles blades 
insulin syringes okay and shaving blades that can be discarded into the ppc can okay this blue color bin or you can keep it in a cardboard box also so in a cardboard box or blue color bin you can discard all glassware or metalware infectious glassware and metalware so what are all the infectious glassware whatever you are using a eh? injections vials okay once you load the medications the empty injection vials should go into the blue bin okay and amples injection amples also should discard into the blue bin and iv bottles if it is a glass container again that has to go into the this blue color bin okay metal where like some implants if it is uh, removed from the patient that metals also can be discarded into the blue bin and red bin this is a recycling waste okay so all infectious plastic material will go into the red bin so what are all the all plastic waste like your iv cannula used iv cannula used syringes iv set iv bottle plastic iv bottles okay you should not have any water in the bottle before discarding into the bin make sure that water has to be removed and discard into the red bin and foley's catheter euro bag and other catheters like drains whatever it is plastic tubings all even blood bag blood tubings should be discarded into the red bin grbs strips so all infectious you, you think that plastic which is any plastic items if get in, infected with the blood and body fluids make sure that has to go into the red bin okay finally this bin will discard all incinerable waste or soiled waste okay what are all the incinerable waste like a human tissue or human anatomical waste or animal waste microbiology and biotechnology waste and cytotoxic drugs and other soiled waste okay so when you are segregating a human anatomical or any body tissue or body part make sure that has to go into the double yellow cover and separately send it for a segregation okay other all soiled materials like your surgical waste pads got cotton bandages and gauze mop during a ot whatever they are using a mops and gauze no that also should go into the yellow bin and cap mask and dressing materials should go into the yellow bin okay so this waste will go for a incineration waste so now i hope all people understood with the waste segregation and category of waste based on these guidelines please follow so that definitely we will not we are not going to make any burden to other person so as per the guideline just see the waste bin and discard the waste in our respective bin okay Thank you.